Okay, so we have finally come to the thing that I was dreading the most, which is my lip collection, whether it be I have chapstick, um, lip gloss, lip balm, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, matte lipsticks. I have all sorts of things, as you can see here. So I am going to probably just start <laughs> because I am like, I've had anxiety about doing this for a while. As you can see, I've completely outgrown my storage here, so I really need to just declutter and get rid of things that I either don't like the formulation, don't like the color, or I have multiple dupes of the same color. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start off with my lip balms because those seem a little less daunting. I have the least amount of them. Okay, so here's my lip balm collection. Not this part of it, but I have lip balms here and then I have lip balms here. So first things first, the LA Colors um, color balms. I don't like these at all. I'm going to be getting rid of all six of them. The color payoff on some of them is really nice, but they kind of have like an artificial vanilla smell and I just they're not for me so I'm going to be getting rid of all of these. I'm also going to be getting rid of this little Vaseline Rosy Lips. A lot of people love this stuff and I just can't get into it. I don't know what it is. I don't really like it. Maybe it's because it's a potted product but I'm going to get rid of that. I have a couple other potted products that I know I'm keeping. The Carmex, even though I hate digging my finger into it, it definitely is a lifesaver in the winter time. Although I do prefer the Carmex like this in the tube, I'm going to be keeping both of them because I do use it a lot. I'm also going to be keeping the Smith's Lip Balm Minted Rose. I have used quite a bit of this and I plan on finishing it up. Now I may not repurchase this once I'm done, but I definitely will finish up this container. This is the Christian Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm, and as you can see, I have used quite a bit of it. I plan on finishing this up, and I would repurchase it after it's done. I have two EOS lip balms. I'm going to be getting rid of these just because they are not my favorite anymore. They dry out my lips and I just do not like them. I'll probably give them to Emmy or something. Um, but these are the actual EOS lip balm brand. And I, like I said, I'm just going to give those away. I do, however, have several of these Walgreens Revo brand um, that are very similar, but they're a little different. I do like these. I like the way they taste, the way they feel and um, they are a lot more moisturizing. So I'm going to keep the two big ones and then out of the smaller ones I'm going to keep the green one because it's watermelon and it's nice. But I'm going to get rid of the blue one because it does leave a blue tint to your lips so that's got to go. The orange one I'm sure would not leave anything so I'm going to keep him. The pink one would probably be fine too. And then the red one's like a oops reddish color, so that one would be fine. So I'm going to keep all of those. And then I'm going to keep this as well as the Hello Kitty Soft Lips. I love her. She's super cute. It's like an apple flavor. That's pretty much brand new, so I'm going to be keeping that. And then out of all of these right here, this Blistex Moisture Melt SPF 15. I can't stand the taste of this, so that's got to go. Same thing with this Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. It's just awful. I hate the taste of it as well, so I'm going to be getting rid of those. I have several of these like darker toned lip products that I think I'm going to be getting rid of as well because I just don't wear them enough. Like They give me too much color to just slap on all throughout the day, which is what I do with lip balm. And so I'm going to get rid of the Nivea I Kiss a Flavor, the Cherry Tinted one. I'm also going to get rid of the Baby Lips Dr. Rescue in the color Soothing Sorbet, which is, again, just like a darker um, one that gives me a little too much color to just wear over and over again. This one is very, very baby lips, and I think this one gives a little too much color as well. They're really nice to just, you know, like if you're wearing makeup, to slap on your lips, but I don't wear makeup often enough to um, really use these as, um, like lip products. That one as well, very soft. It's a pretty color, but I am going to get rid of it. Let's see, these two, this is another Dr. Rescue Pink Me Up. I don't know if this one has a ton of color. No, that one's probably fine. And then lastly, Baby Lips in Rose Push. That one has a little too much color for me. I have one Baby Lips in Peppermint SPF 20, so I will be keeping those. So these are the only two that I'm keeping out of there. I have these Hello Kitty Sweet Lips that the girls really like, so I'm going to give them those. I have this e.l.f. Um, perfect Pink, like, glossy thing. 
like that. It just it turned your color, your uh, lips into a color. I'm gonna keep that and play around with it a little bit more. I have a chapstick hydration look that's like dual ended. Sorry, you guys can probably hear the girls running around laughing. This is really moisturizing. Definitely keeping that. And then I love this. L'Oreal Tender Mauve. Um, I use this as like a chapstick. It just has a hint of color in it. I'm almost done with that and I am going to finish it. Completely got rid of this so I can store that and that's all the uh, um, lip balms that I'm left with which is amazing. Now I'm going to dump these out and actually separate them into lipsticks and lip glosses because I have so much overflow that I really wasn't sure what all I had. Okay, so first I want to start off with these LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints. I bought every single color. And when I first bought them, I thought that they were going to be great, that they were just like amazing, amazing products. But as I've kept them, I've noticed that they've kind of separated a bit. And they're not, I mean, they're still super pigmented. They're just not my favorite things to wear like I truly do not reach for them I do however want to keep a couple of them um, but there's just some of them I know I wouldn't wear like this one for instance is like baby pink color not for me orange certainly not for me those two are going lavender nope not for me <laughs> definitely going to go this like mauve plum color let's see that's really pretty. I probably would keep that one. I think I'm going to keep this like berry color and then let's check out the red. Yeah, and I'll probably keep the red. It's funny, they kind of smell like paint. But I'll keep those three just to give them another round. Next, I have a bunch of NYX butter glosses. I have six of them to be exact. I'm going to be keeping some of them. Let's see, I think these two, I have two of them. Yep, they're both strawberry parfait. So I will be getting rid of this one. And then also this one in apple strudel. I really just don't wear peachy colors like this. So those two I'm for sure getting rid of. I will keep the bright pink. I will keep the mid-tone pink. This nude color I'm not a huge fan of. It's creme brulee. I'll probably get rid of that. And to be honest, I don't really wear red gloss, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Sticking with the glosses here, I have some like off-brand ones and a couple Tarte. I'm going to be getting rid of all of these little mini Tarte lip glosses. They came in a holiday set last year. They're all super sticky. The colors are pretty, but I just do not care for them. So they are going. All of these e.l.f. Uh, lip glosses as well will be going these were Emmys at one point and she never really used them up and now I just feel like I've had them too long she reaches for some of the other stuff in my collection so these are going and then I have two NYX uh, Mega Shine lip glosses one in the color tea rose and one in the color beige I'm actually going to get rid of both of these I've had them in my collection for a very long time and again I never ever reach for them so unfortunately they have to go I have some more lip products that are like in between I don't know lip glosses and lipsticks these are the uh, NYX soft matte lip creams and this one is in San Paolo I really like this color it's super pretty I'm going to be keeping that one this one however in the color Buenos Aires is way too light for me that's one. that one's going to go this one is in Addis Ababa I don't know if I purchased this one or what, but these are very similar colors actually. I think I am going to keep that just because I like the color. And then this Extreme Shine Lip Cream in Bonfire. I don't, I think this was like super sticky and I really didn't care for it. Yeah, it's a really pretty um, bold color, but really sticky, not up my alley anymore. And then I have two uh, Smashbox, and I forget what these are called, Be Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquers. This one is in Coral, and this one is in Keepsake. And I really like, this is like a mini deluxe sample. I really like the formulation on these. The color on that one is okay. I don't know that I would find myself wearing it too often, but I don't have other, too many other colors like that. And then Keepsake is a really pretty um, purpley color that I plan on keeping. Next up are my long wear lip products. So you can see I have a ton of like long wear, um, cream type products. There are a few off the bat that I know I'm going to be getting rid of. These two NYC. I'm getting rid of 
both of these, not for the colors, but more for the formulation. I have several of these Sephora lip cream stains. Actually, I have seven of them. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting rid of a few. If you guys saw my products I regret purchasing, I had several of these colors that I did not, did not like. This was one of them, 02. It's just like a nudie brown color. Not really great for my skin tone. This one as well is super dark and vampy. I have other vampy lipsticks that I prefer over this one. This is a number 10 and then this one is in 08 and again super pink and frosty. I would never wear this. So this one is number 13 Marvelous Mauve. Something that is new to my collection that I really really like that color. So that's kind of where I like to stay. The other three um, I really like as well. This one can be a little on the dark side but I can lighten it up. So I'm going to keep these and get rid of these. I also have two Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I know you've got to be quiet, okay? This one is in Baja 5 or Bajas. I'm not exactly sure. And this one is in Bachelorette. I love both of these colors. Love the formulation. Keeping those. I have three of these Milani uh, Lip Intense Liquid Colors. I really like this color here in Pink Rave. I've showed it in a video before. I have a lot of colors similar to this. I don't really like the formulation of these too much, so I don't know that I'm going to be keeping any of them. Um, this one is in the color Red Extreme. That one's really pretty. Definitely not keeping this violet color. That's just a little too much out of my comfort zone. The other two I'll kind of have to sit on and see if I use. For sure, getting rid of this J-Cats, it looks like a black um, some sort of wonder lip paint, but it's more of like a deep berry. I just don't like the texture of it getting rid of that for sure These melted lipsticks. I am going to keep I think peony and melted berry Nah, I think I'm gonna get rid of um, peony and Melted fuchsia and I'm just going to keep melted berry. I'm going to get rid of this meat Matt Hughes little sample that I got in an Ipsy bag I just don't really like little samples like this chunky matte this Rimmel show off in Apocalyptic is a really really pretty color um, But these bleed a lot on me, so I don't know that I want to keep that that's something I'm probably going to try use again and then um, toss it out if I don't end up using it. I have two of these Luster Matte Longwear Lip Colors from Sephora. I have the color Fig Luster and Mulberry. Both of these are really pretty colors. I'm not sure that I'm 100% like loving the formula on these. They don't seem to dry as well as the other ones do, but the colors are really pretty. So I think I'm going to keep Mulberry and get rid of Fig Luster because you can see Fig Luster and um, whatever marvelous mob are very similar so I think I'm gonna um, pass on this one okay now on to my next category which is my balm stains which are these like kind of crown screw up type of balm stains I have several different brands here so I'm going to go through them quite quickly I have one from pixie that I don't uh, this is like not not really a ton of color payoff I'm going to go ahead and part with that one I have several from Tarte they're all these like mini ones. Let me go through them real quick and see. I'm going to keep these three and get rid of these three, which are like the lightest colors. I don't really care for those lighter colors. They don't show up too much, but these three are really pretty. Okay, I have two from Wet n Wild. These balm stains are kind of difficult to work with because they tend to, um, like when they wear off your lip, wear off a different color than they go on. So I actually think I'm going to get rid of both of those. This Clinique Chubby Stick has like zero color payoff. I'm going to get rid of that one. This one from Jordana Twist and Shine in Sweet Pink. That one's really pretty, but it's kind of a pinky color that I don't really wear too often, so I'm going to get rid of that one. I have one from e.l.f. Jumbo Lip Gloss Balm Stain in Movie Star. And that's a pretty color, but again, I have other ones that I prefer the formula. All right, lastly, I have the Revlon... Um, just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains, Matte Balms, and all that stuff. I'm going to go through and swatch these and see which ones I want to keep. Okay, I'm going to keep these four, which is uh, two of the matte ones and two of the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. And then I'm getting rid of these four here because the colors, again, are just similar to ones that I already have. Next, I have these pencils of whatever sort so I have by Beauty Elf they're just pretty much like the retractable pencil matte um, well I guess they're not all matte most of them are matte 
pencils. I have three lippy sticks from ColourPop. Um, I have it in Sweet Thing, which is a cream. I really haven't used this too much. I like that blue toned color, so I am going to keep it. I don't have too many of those. That's Frenemy and Freshman, and I'm going to keep all of them just because, um, again, I haven't really played around with them too much. They're new to me. I have this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Fuchsia. I've had this forever, and it's really pretty, but I'm just going to part with it because it's it's been in my collection forever. Two Maybelline Color Blurs, one in the color um, Fast and Fuchsia, the other one in I Like to Mauve It. And, you know, honestly, I thought I was going to love these but I really have Mommy. not picked up them and you know out of the two of them I like the um, fast and fuchsia better than the mauve it so I think I'm gonna keep that one and get rid of the I like to mauve it I have six colors from elf these are the elf matte lip colors I'm gonna go through and swatch them and see if I want to get rid of any because to be honest I really like these so I don't know that I'm going to want to get rid of any nope just as I suspected at the top row here I love all of them I'm keeping all of them I swatched out the NARS ones and I'm keeping all of them these are from my birthday my little birthday thing and then this is um, sex machine and then here is a little trustique thing that I got in an ipsy bag that's that one there I have something similar in elf and so I'm going to get rid of this one now we're down to a bite beauty not all of these are like pencils but it's the same type of thing so I have these four high pigment pencils that were from last year, I think I'm going to keep all of them, but I'm going to swatch them out and see. I'm actually going to get rid of Sable because that is a little too light for me for my taste. The rest of them I'm going to keep. Same thing here. These are the matte cream lip crowns, and I have six of them. Two of them were from last year's holiday collection. Four of them are from this year's holiday collection. I believe I have duplicates though, so I'm going to go through and swatch them and decide which ones I want to keep. Okay, so out of all of these, I have them swatched right here. I actually had an extra aubergine, which is this like purple color. So I'm going to get rid of that, and then this lighter color called cafe is just way too light for me so I'm going to get rid of that one as well and you know the more I look at all my swatches I'm going to part with these two from Milani and I'm also going to part with this um, frenemy from Colourpop. Okay so now for lipsticks so it's just going to be difficult for me because I have dwindled down my lipstick collection quite a bit when I moved over into my new storage I kind of got rid of a ton of stuff. So this is going to be hard to dwindle even more, but I think I can do it. I'm going to start with these mini lipsticks. A lot of these I got in the holiday collection last year. This, um, These two are buxom lip gloss uh, lipsticks. I don't really gravitate towards these, and the colors aren't really suited for me anymore. Like that one especially. Let's check out this one. This one's actually not bad, but I am going to get rid of this little pink one. This also is a Red My Lips lipstick from an Ipsy bag. It's an awful coral color. I don't like the way that it looks on me and I won't be keeping that one. This either is a Noya Desert Rose lipstick a little mini. I don't really like the color. Won't be keeping. Buy it for VIB Rouge. I love this red. It's a really gorgeous, like classic red. We'll be keeping that. I have a Makeup Forever um, Rouge Artist Natural. I don't really like this color, which I don't know. I mean, it's a Marc Jacob color. A Marc Jacob lipstick, but the color is like ugly. I don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Actually, it's not Marc Jacob's Makeup Forever, my bad. And the last thing is F Bomb from Urban Decay. I love this color. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous classic red, so keeping that. I have three MAC lipsticks, Angel, Viva Glam 5, and Syrup, and I'm not getting rid of any of these. I love all of these colors. They're classic staples in my collection, and I just, I truly don't think that I could this was my wedding lipstick like even if it was nasty and gross I wouldn't get rid of it I have three of these color burst Revlon lipsticks which are so old but they work really great this is a um, peachy color I love that one this is in um, carnation this I could probably do without because I have so many colors that are very similar to that and I don't gravitate towards it so I actually think I'm going to part with this one and then this one is fuchsia and I love this color it's so pretty I do have a ton like that, but who cares? I have one Milani lipstick. This is in Matte Orchid, which I really like as well. And it's like super, super matte. My camera battery died, so I don't know where this cut off, but I'm doing these NYX matte lipsticks. 
and it's these three right here. The red one I'm kind of tossed up about. The other two, actually this one too, I don't know if I'm going to keep. This one for sure I don't have anything like I'm keeping this one. I have two NYX Butter Lipsticks. This one is in Pops, and this is supposed to be comparable to Angel, I believe, um, or Syrup. Yeah, I really like that color. I definitely want to keep that one. This one is in Sweetheart. It's a pretty color, but, you know, I don't really gravitate towards those, like, glossy colors much, so I'm going to get rid of that one. I have four of these NYC cream colors, and I really, they're the expert last um, lipsticks. I really like them. This one is in Air Kiss. Let me swatch them and see if I like all of them. There's the four colors there. I am going to be keeping these three and getting rid of this pink one, not for me anymore. I have five of these Wet n Wild matte lipsticks. Again, I'm going to go through and swatch them and see which ones I like. So these are swatched out right here, and I'm actually going to get rid of this one in 907C. It's a little too blue toned for me and I'm going to keep the NYX um, Teal Rose, which is this one right here, so I'm gonna swap them. I have three of these CoverGirl lipsticks. Um, these are, I don't even know what collection it's from. This is not even used, wow. Definitely getting rid of this one in Sultry. A little too nude for my taste. I don't really care for that one. These two are really pretty, but I am going to keep Hot Passion and get rid of the NYC one, which I had originally wanted to keep. And then this matte one from NYX I'm going to keep too because I was thinking that they'd be comparable, but they're different tones of red. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one back in. Okay, now lip butters. You can see that I have quite a few, probably about 10, 12 of them. So I'm going to swatch them on my hand and see if I have anything similar and which ones I want to keep. Okay, so I'm keeping all of these. Lip butters are probably my favorite thing. And I mean, you can see I really don't have any colors that are similar. Well, I have some that are similar, but not the same. So I'm keeping those. And I'm getting rid of these four here, which is Lollipop, Wild Watermelon, Strawberry Shortcake, and Sorbet. I think these were some sort of limited edition or something. But I'm getting rid of those. And then I was going to keep this Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb because it, it is just like the only vampy color that I have, but I do have red velvet from the color burst from the lip butters. So I'm going to get rid of this one because to be honest, it, it'll be much easier to vamp up and wear that than to wear that. So I'm gonna get rid of it. All right, I have three Maybelline lipsticks. This one is in Make Me Pink, and I'm pretty sure I have a ton of other similar lipsticks to this, so I have to consider that. Actually, the four or five that I thought were going to be similar are not similar, so I'll have to think about this one. The next one is um, Daringly Nude, and I think this one was entirely, yeah, like way too nude for me, so that one's got to go. This one is Touch of Spice, and I think this one was fine. Yeah, I really like that color, so keeping that one. I have a Kate Lasting Finish Lasting Finish Lipstick by Rimmel by Kate, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> and um, this one, I think I have something similar to this one as well. So I think I'm going to toss, get rid of that one. This is L'Oreal um, Unending Kiss. I think it's an infallible lipstick. And I do have, this is actually pretty similar. <sighs> To some of the nudes that I have there so I am going to get rid of this one as well and I think I'm going to get rid of this Maybelline lipstick also next is an elf moisturizing lipstick this one is in flirty and fabulous it is a beautiful fuchsia color but I unfortunately don't really wear that bold of fuchsia and I do have other fuchsia lipsticks let me see if it compares Eh, similar but that's a little too pinky for me so I'm going to get rid of it. Alright, I have the uh, Lolita lipstick from Kat Von D. My friend Stephanie got this for me last year. And this is pretty similar to Touch of Spice, but it is um, a high-end lipstick, so I am going to keep it and give it a shot. Alright, the last things that I have are these duos from Bite, and I have six of them, so I'm going to swatch them side by side and see if there's any that are totally the same that I can get rid of. Okay, so there's the colors there. So what I have come up come across is that I have Scarlet, which is a very deep, dark color. I'm going to get rid of Red Velvet from the Lip Butters just because I have that one and I think it would be easier to use that one. So that one's gonna go. 
second I have two of them that are very similar in shade and I prefer this one to this one so this one that I'm going to get rid of is musk and lychee or lychee however you pronounce it so that one's going to go and I was really considering getting rid of this duo which is this one right here which is tangerine and lingonberry I don't know I'm kind of tossed up both of those colors really I'm just gonna get rid of it those aren't colors I would wear that is that let me organize everything and I'll show you the progress okay guys so that was the end of my lip product declutter sorry it was kind of hectic with the girls running around and stuff they um, I did here she comes again so as you guys can see I got rid of well over half of my lip collection I in fact have two entire free containers now that we're in completely full before so plus I have an entire 15 extra slots here for lipsticks that I got rid of that I have room to grow over here and I have like this area is not even full so I'm really really excited to have decluttered so much it feels amazing I hope that you guys enjoyed this series as a whole I rounded it off with probably my most favorite thing out of my entire makeup collection and I'm so happy that it is down to my favorite products and I actually may even get rid of some of these products because I have a ton of colors and if I find myself reaching for the same things over and over I will get rid of the other colors so anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye